This video is proudly sponsored by Oxide Hosting. With this hosting company, you can never go wrong. They provide outstanding customer support and all for a low price. Their services range from website hosting to Minecraft server hosting. If you are interested in them, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connie here from MenuDocs and welcome back to a new video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be updating the help command. Now, it was asked in the last video, which was quite a long time ago, that um, that we go back and kind of go through some of the fundamental important commands and um, obviously update them. Um, obviously, the code that's on the GitHub, um, it's not exactly the same as this because I've gone through and actually reworked the help command and made it a little bit better. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is obviously we're going to do our requirements. And bear with me because it has been a minute since I've done a lot of things. But first we're going to start off by doing some object deconstruction. And we're going to go through and require only one aspect of the discord.js module. Which is the rich embeds because obviously we use those. We're going to obviously uh, grab the prefix. And we're going to grab the prefix from... Uh, if I remember correctly, we're going to grab it from the bot command or bot config, one of the two. Um, obviously, we have to go back, I believe, two directories. Uh, so two dots and then I believe it's just bot config. If not, hold up. Let's, yeah, it is in there. So we're going to do bot config.json. Sometimes the, the thing doesn't do it for me, which is real sad. But uh, obviously, we can live with that. And then what we're going to do is, is if you guys watched the last video, which was obviously a very long time ago yet again, um, basically we went through and used a new aspect, well not a new aspect, a new in the tutorials aspect of the FS module, file sorter or file systems, one of the two. Um, and now we're going to use it in here again. So read the uh, sync is uh, obviously something we need. We're also going to require another new module um, and it, we're going to use strip indents from that and that's going to be from the um, the common tags uh, module here. Now finally we're going to require what is our color that we use in our in our embeds and then we're going to require, um, require the if I can not press enter require the colors which is back to directories as well if you look down here so we're gonna go to colors.json now that's all the modules we're gonna need um, some of this stuff I'm gonna go over so the usage is now different in the way it's displayed if we go to the eval command I've changed it so the usage only shows this normally before it would show the prefix and such um, and the, the name of that obviously it's no longer needed so we get rid of that and uh, display all commands so th this, everything else is pretty much the same apart from the usage part now you only uh, put the required parameters in there um, so basically the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do const embed equals obviously new rich embed and then we're going to do I believe just the color if I don't click the caps lock there we're going to do cyan then the next one is we're going to set author and the author of this is going to be um, we're going to put this here we do message.guild.me.display name and then we're going to do help now what this does is it puts the uh, client user into a guild member perspective so that you're able to grab guild member properties from the bot itself so message.guild.icon icon URL and that's going to grab obviously the guild icon then next we're going to set the thumbnail so set thumbnail we're going to set it to the bot dot user um, dot display uh, display avatar URL sorry I'm a little bit rusty here guys um, but after that we're now going to do a, con a condition check we're going to check if there is no args provided we're going to open some params here I'm going to do const categories equals read sync duh and then we're just gonna put that into a string and then commands and then another slash um, I might console log this just to show you what it displays um, but 
actually probably not you guys can do that yourself if you want to see what it displays now we're going to set the description to um these are the available oh i did not put that in a string i'm just going to highlight that string of fire and then these are the available jesus christ i am not doing great today available commands for and then we can obviously uh we should probably change these to back ticks you guys don't know where back ticks are if you look for the squirrely line on your board on your keyboard it's uh pretty much that and you don't need to hold shift to use it then we're gonna grab this from here these are the things for that and then we're gonna go new line and we're gonna go the bot prefix is and then uh, we're gonna bold it and then do uh, prefix here and then finish the bolding and then we're gonna do um, embed dot set footer and now we're gonna set the footer to um, display some of the stuff so I'm gonna I'm actually gonna drag it in here because all our, all our um, commands now get verified by reviewers but uh, just because it's easier to grab the copyright sign here um, but what we're gonna do actually is we're gonna change this to be test bot and it's gonna say the display name instead and now it's gonna show the uh, command name so sorry the command total and the reason it can get this is bot commands is a collection that we define in our index um, right here and obviously now we're just gonna grab the size of that and then we're gonna put the bot user uh, display thing underneath now we're gonna use a loop so categories dot for each and then we're gonna pass category here and pass arrow function like a so and we're gonna do const uh, equals bot dot commands sorry I forgot the equal sign there guys bot dot commands dot filter and then we're gonna do c c dot config is it config yes it is config config dot category and then we're gonna do equals and then category now what this does is it reads the names of the folders so miscellaneous moderation and owner um, they also have to be your category names if they are not then it won't display it now the next thing i'm going to do is we're going to capitalize the name of the uh the command so we're going to make a quick definition for this so we're going to capitalize category dot slice i'm just going to slice off the first letter um zero to one and then we're going to go to uppercase if i can spell to uppercase which is a function and we're going to do plus category plus category dash sliced one and that's gonna pretty much put it together now next what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a try catch if you guys don't know how to use a try catch or what a try catch is please do google it i'm not going to explain it in the video um, but then what we're going to do is we're going to do embed dot add field and then we're going to add a field here so we're going to put the name up here of the the command uh, not the command sorry of the category so we're going to do capitalize we're going to put that there and then in uh i believe we're, do you know what we're, we won't put it in bold but if you want to you can use the markdown to put it in bold and then we're going to do dir dot size and that's going to get the size of the files or the length of the files that are in the folder itself and that's going to obviously display um it's going to display how many commands there are that are active so then what we're going to do after that is we're going to go to the field value and we're going to do dir dot map and then c and we're going to pass c and then we're going to open up a string here do some backslashes and then we're going to do c dot c dot config dot name and then we're going to go back in there and then basically what we're going to do is we're going to join here with a space in between now if this errors we're going to just do console dot log e and obviously e is the pass uh, variable here so that should be pretty straightforward then after this right here we're going to return message dot channel 
Send, and we're gonna send the embed. So this is gonna display the main help embed unless a parameter, or sorry, not a parameter, unless an argument is um, given. So we're gonna do let command equal bot dot commands dot get bot dot aliases dot get, and then we're gonna do args zero here. Um, and then we're gonna do two lower case which is a function as well and then we're gonna have an or statement here and then we're gonna do or args zero to lowercase like that where if i i'm missing a bracket here so now that we've got that line down we're gonna do if there isn't a command we're just gonna return message dot channel dot send and then we're just going to do embed dot set title invalid command dot go out here set description do backslash do and then prefix help backslash and then we're for the list of the commands. So now what is happening here is if arg zero isn't actually a command, it's just gonna, it's gonna break this pretty much. And then this is gonna say, if there is no command that is returned, it will do such. And we're gonna do command equals command.config. Now, if you guys don't know, lexical definitions can be reassigned. So that is what we are doing here. And then obviously this is where we get into the embed itself. So embed.set description. Now, if you guys don't know what we were going to use that strip indents for, this is exactly where we're going to use it. So we're going to do the bots, the bots prefix is, and then we're going to do backslash, another backslash, and then do prefix, close that. And then what we're going to do is new line. And then we're actually going to go to a new line here. So now we're going to do command. So this is the command and then we're going to do command.name. Command.name. Uh, it's pretty much just this here. Except uh, obviously we'll change category to name. Um, what we'll do here is just stick that in there and change category to command. And command.name. Bam. Then the next line, you don't have to add a new line because the strip indents just removes um, all the white spaces and actually allows you to enter. So then we're going to do the description. So the description, we're going to have a or operator here. So it can be command.description or no description provided. And then the next line is going to be usage. And then it's pretty much the same. We're going to have a or operators. Oh, actually, no. With this, we're probably going to have a tenary operator. So command.usage. So if there is a command.usage, we're going to do um, backslashes. More backslashes. And then we're going to do prefix. Sorry curly braces prefix and then we're going to do command dot name and then we're going to space it and then command dot usage and then if not we're going to do sorry if not no we want to go on the other side of here if not then we want to say no usage and just like that, we are done with that. And then we want to do assess it will buy. And then we're going to do command dot accessible by or and it's just going to default to members default to members because obviously if you don't provide, it's just going to say that and then we're going to do aliases. Now, I believe in the first help command, I told everyone just to basically input the commands itself. It doesn't actually go through and map it. So with this code, 
if you add a um aliases it's not in this one sorry if you add aliases up here then it will obviously display them and such and such if not we're gonna have a tenery operator so command dot aliases and then command dot aliases then we're gonna join the aliases with a space in between and then if there's no aliases we're gonna do none uh what's this none and then we can just put that and then that is that it's pretty much done there uh we'll probably put this up a line because this does it there and there and then obviously we're gonna go two lines down and do return message dot channel oh we can just copy paste this so that's pretty much the command done so now that's done i'm gonna start up the bot so as you can see the bot is started up and now we're going to use eval as the command that we look at so we're going to do dash help it's going to display all the commands here and then we'll do help uh eval now obviously oh ah this should be command dot name sorry there's a mistake there obviously when i copied it down i forgot to put command dot name in there and then we're gonna just redo that sorry and then bam it's going to show that doesn't join with the comma because I did not put a comma there we will join them with a comma I think that's better yep all right sweet so that's the command done pretty much I think the next couple videos are just gonna be a couple videos just kind of going through code like the dog commands and showing you how to use node fetch etc and um just pretty much updating the meme command as well because I know the API for that is the API endpoint isn't outdated but the domain name is no longer active so then the endpoint no longer exists so yeah i'm just gonna go through and with duncan's handy little meme api that i got him to make we're gonna use that and um basically scrape reddit which is cool anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video this has been connie here from menu docs and i hope you have an absolutely wonderful day peace